Hello, my name is Deanna Lloyd, and for my research project, I'm going over what is informally called the Brazilian jewel tarantula, and what is scientifically known as the Typoclena celadonia. And this species is known for its rarity and for it being a relatively new species. Um, people that collect spiders always dream of getting one of their own. And today I'm gonna to go over its classification, its lineage, adaptations, behavior, and its place in our ever-changing world. And about its classification, it's from the kingdom Animalia, which means it is a multicellular eukaryote and has an exoskeleton that molts. Excuse me, sorry. It just means that it is an animal and it cannot produce its own food. And then it's phylum arthropoda is what means it has an ex exoskeleton that molts so it can grow and finish its um, sort of cycle into becoming an adult. And it also has segmented body parts. Um, it is from the class Arachnida meaning it has eight legs and two more that are used for feeding, among other things. And it's from the order Arane, and that means it is specifically a spider, um, and it has two distinct body segments. It is from the family Theraphosidae, meaning that it is a tarantula, and 90% of those have these hairs covering their body, called septae and they're known for their being large and a, more of a heavy kind of spider. Um, its genus is Typoclana, and that identifies it as a dwarf spider that is native to Brazil, and most notable for their color scheme. And the species Celadonia brings us to the species that I'm going over today. and about its lineage and where it comes from. Um, it is an arthropod, of course, and it is part of the Chelcilorids. And some relatives of the Chelcilorids. My mistake, the um, Chelcilorids include the spiders, scorpions, ticks, and mites. And the spider makes a form of tarantula. So the tick and scorpions and the dust mites kind of relate to that. Although the tarantula isn't a web building spider. Um, the family of Theraphosidae or tarantulas has been around for more than 120 million years. But the genus Typocloana was only introduced 170 years ago, which kind of brings it just perspective of how new this species really is. So, the species of the genus include the Celadonia, which is ours, and it is known for its very colorful pinks and orange and blues. Others are the Cassia, Ama, Carumen, Pascaloe. Close enough, right? Um, ours is most popular due to its color. Um, the rest are not so vicious, except maybe the Ama, which is has more of a blue or red gradient to it. The others are more brown, which probably makes them more likely to survive longer because they can blend in with their environment a bit more. But of course, we're not gonna be as popular. Um, some adaptations of the Celadonia. Um, they are arboreal, which means they live in the trees, and they're a form of trapdoor spider. So instead of um, building webs to capture prey, they actually find either holes into trees or they crawl under a loose piece of the bark and they sort of hide out there and make a nest sort of out of their silk and they chill there 